Hello again, everyone. It's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com here with Shop Manager. Jason. And I uh, want to share with you a little uh, project that we've been working on. Uh, we're working on something with a government agency. We can't go into the details, but part of it um, is an automatic trim system for a submersible. I want to show you what we've come up with. All right, this is what we've got here. Now, um, this may look like a lot. Uh, we were challenged with creating a two-axis automatic trim adjustment subsystem for a submersing craft. Uh, so two-axis, we got our x-axis and our y-axis. So we want this craft to be able to level itself um, no matter what orientation it gets put in. One of the cool things about this, though, if we simplify the system back, we can get a, a single axis stability system that would be usable in a lot of our RC submarines that we usually work with. Before we get to that point, let's just show you. Um, actually, you know what we'll do is uh, I'm going to unplug one of these and we'll show you what the single axis would look like. So we're going to go ahead and, and power it up now just before we do. We've got this plumbed in so that these opposing tanks are in a circuit and these opposing tanks are in a circuit. We've got trim tanks half full of water going to a reversible gear pump that goes back to the other tank and then they're vented together with uh, a little air hose. So we've got an automatic pitch controller on a card here. We're going to, uh, to hold this and um, we'll show you moving forward and back what this ends up uh, looking like single axis automatic trim system. All right, so the electronic speed controller is all um, showing that it's good. Now, if the boat tilts forward, the water should pump to the back. Bring the card in more. And it did. And if it tilts up, water should move to the front. which it does. And this basically, as the boat moves, that pump automatically moves water from tank to tank. Now let's get fancy. Um, we'll unplug that for right now and we'll do the four axis, or two, sorry, two axis control. Now, another thing to note with, uh, with these electronic speed controllers, you'll notice uh, we're not running any input signals to them. So this is all completely autonomous and automatic, not being controlled at all. If we were to hook this up to a channel though, we would actually be able to override it and we could set it so the submarine would stand on its nose or stand on its tail um, as we would want it to. And then as soon as we took our fingers off the control, the pitch controller would bring the boat back to level again. So let's uh, get that powered up. So now we're two axis. What should happen in theory if I tilt the board forward, assuming a nose down attitude, both rear tanks should fill with water, which they did. And if we go nose up, other way. Now let's say for example, this craft ends up going down and to the right. And that ends up leveling it. So you can see how this uh, how this works. Um, it's actually super intuitive and um, it works really well. These gear pumps move water really quickly. Um, it probably fills up one of these tanks in Gosh, a couple five seconds. seconds, yeah, or something like that. So it's very, very responsive. Drawbacks of the system: these are not the most energy efficient pumps. These gear pumps, um, and if you're in a craft where you're close to neutral buoyancy and, it, or sorry, to, to neutral trim, and uh, it's moving back and forth constantly, these motors are going to be pulling. Um, I think about two amps. Two amps. Right? Two amps as they as they run. So. Um, just keep that in mind. It is a little bit of uh, 
an energy hog. Now this is probably much bigger. Obviously these are huge. Um, these would be for a very large boat. If you went with smaller pumps, smaller tanks, obviously, um, those gear pumps could be drawing something more like an amp uh, or potentially less. So your current draws going to be less. But that is our system. We need to come up with a cool name for it. Gosh, you got me. Uh, ATSS, the Automatic Trim Subsystem. I don't know. Some kind of acronym or something. Yeah, ATSS. I like it. ATS. Um, but yeah, completely autonomous, does not need to be connected to anything. It could potentially live it in its own watertight cylinder, completely removed from the uh, from the control of the boat, or run a couple of, or one, um, servo lead to it, and you'd have a manual control of your boat. And there you go, the, uh, the newly dubbed uh, ATSS, uh, automatic uh, trim sub system for submarines. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, I'd love to see somebody attempt to put this in a boat. I'm kind of tempted. We need a big boat to put this in now. We had a couple big ones out there. We have a couple big ones. That sea view would be a perfect candidate. That 80 inch sea view. Yeah. So there you go. Um, on behalf of Bob Martin, the RC sub guy, and Jason, Jason uh, we will let you go. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please do like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Um, drop me a comment, shoot me an email, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. We would love to hear from you. And with that, we will let you go until next time.